Welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. It's about uh, 9.30 in the morning. I'm just headed into Lowe's real quick to see if I can find a quick plant, plant pot for the plant that I got yesterday at Ikea. They didn't really have any paint. Why can I say paint? <laughs> plant pot. They didn't really have any, especially any affordable ones. So hopefully I can find something for less than ten dollars. <laughs> Cause you know I'm cheap. Wish me luck. Wow, so many to choose from. Ooh, where do I start? I like this already. Hmm. This is where, oh, I love this. So this is where all the goods are. <laughs> sure we'll find something. I love the goods and no one's here because it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Just like I like it. <laughs> hey guys, happy Tuesday. I haven't been on since Sunday um, and I just got back from Trader Joe's and Publix as usual yeah I might be tired of seeing my little grocery store hauls but this is one of the things that I love watching on YouTube so I'm gonna show you <laughs> um, I didn't pick up much again same stuff my every week essentials from Trader Joe's salmon burgers shrimp burgers turkey corn dogs and they're already open because I just ate two of them um, also from Trader Joe's limes lemons and then from Publix, I picked up some stuff that was going off sale today. So, chicken broth, beef broth. I plan to make some um, some chili soon, if not this weekend. So, that's what the beef broth is for. I uh, picked up a couple of salmon, the skinless, boneless salmon cans. They're on sale right now, and I use these every weekend to make salmon croquette salmon patties because it's my favorite. And then um, just some Activia. Activia Light, it was on sale for half off. All this stuff was on sale at Publix for half off this week. So, um, so yeah, that's all. I don't have much going on, just working as usual. And I will come back um, later to check in with you guys. Good morning. Just down here picking up packages. Any day now. So, hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. I know I haven't vlogged much this week. I haven't had anything going on. Pretty much as usual, standard quarantine life. Um, however, I did figure I'd come on. Oh, it's Friday, by the way. My favorite day of all time for my whole life. <laughs> it's Friday night, and my family, they know what that means. Anyway, I do have a couple of packages, so I figured I'd go and uh, I'd come on here and show you guys what I got in the mail. It's not much, but this one super excited about um also i'm in the house looking like the super thug that i am as usual <laughs> and uh, i'm wearing one of the forever 21 hoodies that i unboxed a few vlogs ago and also since i'm so super thug but chic make a chic i paired it with a little chanel brooch because i'm a coco mcqueen Ashley, that is. But anyway, I'm gonna take you guys um, with me on the patio to show you what I got in these packages. Hey guys, so I am back. I am on the patio, so I hope you guys can hear me. I live in the city, so it can get kind of loud sometimes. I am enjoying a libation in the words uh, in the word of my girl Kiko Beauty, who I'm sure you subscribe to because she's the girl so anyway i am enjoying um some tito's with some fresh lime and some diet uh i think it's minime tropa tropical punch juice and i'm enjoying it in my new crate and barrel um martini glass that i just showed you guys on last week's vlog so yeah i love this glass it's so big and it's friday night girl so let's get into unboxing these three packages like i said this one here Girl has been, the girl has been waiting for. <laughs> oh, it's so delicious, y'all. I can't tell you enough. If you didn't know, in addition to a thug who wears hoodies with Chanel brooches and shades, 
in the house on Friday nights, I am also a um, self-proclaimed star bartender. So yeah, <laughs> I am a mixologist, if you ask me anyway. I've never had a complaint as it pertains to mixing a drink. Now, I don't know if it's because most people that I've mixed a drink for have already, this is the first box I'm open, have already had, you know, a couple of drinks themselves. Perhaps that's what it is. So anyway, like I said, super excited about this package. It is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Um, this is in the color gold, 128 gigabytes. Y'all, I have a 7 Plus and have had a 7 Plus for the past five years. I am a, if it ain't broke, don't fix it type girl. So, it wasn't broke and I wasn't trying to fix it. <laughs> but, um, the incentive was so good on this phone. And I'll probably do a separate video on, um, on this phone actually if you guys would like. Um, that's what I've probably, that's pretty much what I've been doing all week on YouTube is watching a lot of videos and watching reviews on that phone and they have amazing reviews and the incentive was good for the upgrade and it was just a yes, yes, yes. So, and of course it was time for me to upgrade. Your girl don't even have face ID right now. So when I say this is an upgrade, this is an upgrade. Okay. She deserved it. So this is the second box. As you can see, it came from Target.com. So, it's only one item in this package, and that is a candle. It's sounded a little broke, though. Let's see, and they packaged it up pretty nicely. This is a threshold candle, which I used, I got quite a few of these this year. Um, I'll show you guys. Y'all, it is broke as hell. <gasps> Target. Look at this shit. Y'all, it is broke in like pieces. Can you see this? This is absolutely ridiculous. Wow, Target. Well, it was supposed to be. If you can see, a candied almond and vanilla threshold candle. And it smells amazing especially since the whole wax is broken I can smell it wow target well this is a um, a hazard Jesus like literally it's glass on my patio concrete right now hmm. target has been such a joy lately if you watched last week's vlog or the vlog before you'll see that there was a hard debacle with the um, this is my third package. Um, the whole debacle with the threat with the studio McGee lamp. So the fact that y'all just sent me this BS, it's a no. And then I can't even like um, try to keep it and say, you know, I can't even use it at all. So I'm not, I'm literally, yeah, anyway, tar I can go on about Target. It's hit or miss. Um, this is my third package and final package. This is from Nordstrom. Of course, I'm sure you guys know that Sephora had their VIB sale and VIB root sale. Y'all, literally, it's glass from this broken candle on my leggings. Target. <sighs> this is how we're going to earn. Hmm. Necessary. Anyway, so Sephora had their VIB sale. Nordstrom, not to be... Um, you can't okay they don't play with them because what they did is they gave you 15 percent off the same week as the vib sale so you can shop with them instead of sephora so anyway um in addition to that 15 percent off they also sent me a 10 dollars nordstrom note which i showed you guys on last week's vlog so i just picked up my um holy grail kind of lip glow or lip balm which is the dior lip glow everybody if you know you know everybody knows and of course, I got it in um, color 001, which is the regular color. It's like your lips the better color. And uh, as you can see, your girl needs some more right now. This is the packaging. I'm sure you guys have seen it a million times. The Dior. Don't mind my nails. I 
you know, I really don't care if you mind my nails. <laughs> I'm, t I'm totally joking. I love my nails. Um, so anyway, like I said, your girl needs some more right now. <laughs> so your girl's gonna put some on right now. So there's that. So in addition to the Dior lip glow that I got in this box, of course they sent a few samples. So I got a La Mer, because when you get an opportunity to get La Mer, you get La Mer. Um, a Chanel de Blue, Blue de Chanel, which is a men's cologne, but mm, if you know, you know. <laughs> and then lastly, a Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro. Oh, this is like a sample set. Nicey. In the words of Larissa from Love. Uh, what is it? Uh, 90 Day Fiance. She'd be like, nicey. She's Brazilian. Um, and this is the, these are the samples. And it comes with like a little lip brush. Yes, ma'am. So, um, Nordstrom. Their samples are a thousand percent better than Sephora. Um, so anyway, with my Nordstrom note, I only paid like $21 for this lip glow. And it's like $30, $34 um, retail. So yeah, so that is it. I'm super excited about this iPhone. Like I said, I'll, I'll probably do a separate video on it. Y'all, it was time. It was time. 2020 has had, that's, that's something good in 2020. We'll just, we'll just leave it at that. So anyway, yeah guys, I'll come on and I'll be back. Happy Saturday. Just wanted to come on and say hey. I just made these little, of course, the week I on Saturday and Sunday. That's my cheat day if I haven't mentioned that before. I'm sure I have. But anyway, I made some blueberry cheesecake muffins this morning. They taste really good. Um, I'll probably only eat like one more or two more, but they're here nonetheless. Also, I wanted to show you guys. First of all, let me just say, this new iPhone camera is crazy. <laughs> crazy um quick plant check this is madame vice president kamala she looks radiant this morning um still need to get a i can never say it i still need to get a plant pot for her lows i was very unsuccessful i was so excited to go there last week they had absolutely nothing um but she still looks good she's sitting here in front of the um patio window and all her glory I also changed this picture on my wall. This is a painting that I did. And as you can see, it definitely looks very DIY. I did that uh, years ago. It was just sitting on my um, bedroom floor. So I just changed it out. I'm going to actually paint over this canvas like some abstract, some more abstract art, but I want way more black. And I also want to add a picture light above it. So DIY project coming soon. Uh, another plant check, of course, Daenerys Targaryen and all her glory. Um, first of her name, Queen of Andals, uh, Mother of Dragons, all the Unburnt. Um, <laughs> I did, as, you, as if you don't know, I used to be obsessed with Game of Thrones until the last two episodes of season, the last season. But I digress. Anyway, I did cut her brown tips off like last week or the week before. Some of her leaves are growing brown tips back, but she has not died. And she's still growing and then some of her leaves are growing back normally so i guess i'll just keep clipping them and hoping for the best y'all i still love this garland love it love it love it i need to um, put those pumpkins up very soon but that garland again 5.98 at target i think it looks so cute sitting up here with my little chanel boxes i need to dust the top one um and then lastly on my plant check my beautiful my beautiful mama mia x she looks amazing now i was worried about her because her tips were turning brown i've had her for probably a little bit over a month now but um her tips were turning brown i was so afraid to over water so if they're not like super dry i won't water them but um apparently that's why her tips were turning dry per alexa and per google is because, I mean, her tips were turning brown because she was dry. So I watered her with some distilled water yesterday and I normally uh, like spray her with a spray bottle um, every like two, three days, but she looks beautiful. I just love her. I'll be needing a bigger plant pot <laughs> for her soon per my auntie, but, um, but yeah. So anyway, happy Saturday morning. I will be cooking later, coming back to show y'all, but I'm so obsessed with my plants, y'all. 
like for real.